All right, folks, here we are. What do we have here? It is a rainy day, MLK day in Madison, Wisconsin, but Nathaniel Moore is going to heat things up with the Zwifts, okay? He is in the flat is fast race, volcano loop, seven, five, four, three. They're going to get ready to rock and roll. It's going to be a 15-mile race. Very flat, I think in 15.1 or 2 miles is going to be only 400 feet of elevation, so pretty flat in this whipped world. And let's see how he does today. All right, so we got a good solid peloton there. He's wearing black. Once in a while you'll see his name and more pop up with the little flag next to it that'll be him here is the standings over here but those change a lot in when they're in the pack or the peloton as it's called in the bicycle world see the end more right there in the middle it even looks like him when he's pedaling doesn't it the avatar it's just like a little monkey book going, ee, ee, ee. Oh, wait. This is, that's not professional. I can't do that. All right. So, there they go. And as long as they're showing them right there, i got a clear shot of them. I'll keep it on. But I'm going to pause after a minute. And then come back every few just so the video doesn't get too long. Well, they already got a 3% climb in this flat race. I can slow things down and see they're doing 22 miles an hour. All righty, folks. So we're at eight tenths of a mile just about. Oh, wait, we're going through the tunnel under the water. So let me give you a little bit of that to enjoy the sea creatures. All right, we don't go into the water yet. I'll wait for a little bit. Peace out. Catch you in a little bit. All right, this segment here is always fun. You're in the lava field. You can just sort of feel the place heat up with all that molten lava on both sides of you. So I'll let you enjoy that experience in the virtual world of Watopia. Mr. N. Moore again. Go, Nathaniel. All right. There's Alp the Zwift way up there, that snow-covered mountain. If you want to do some serious climbing, you can go up there. Okay, I'm going to check back in in five mile marker unless something's happening. Coming back at you just for a moment so you can enjoy some of the architecture of some of these little villages and share a story. Uh, before I share the story though, I was not able to secure a pre race interview with Nathaniel. So I'm not sure what his strategies might be. Don't know if he has any tricks up his sleeve. Uh, we just went up at 3% grade with some gravel and then some twisty turny once we got in the village. So it's sort of spreading out that peloton. If you look over here a little bit, there we go right there, you can see that that's sort of spread out more so than usual. So uh, we'll see if anything becomes of that. And there are a couple of people off the front right now. I don't think they're going to go anywhere. I think they just got a little boost from that climb. Probably a couple of light weights. But there's N more again on the right middle of your screen. And so he did share with me, and for reasons of privacy, I will not say Nathaniel's wife's name, but she teaches yoga and she teaches some pretty hardcore yoga. And so. Young Nathaniel is whining this morning about how hard her yoga was and that she beat him up 
and he had muscles he didn't know he had that was hurting. And I said, well, if you didn't know you had those muscles, you don't have to worry about it. You should still race because that means you don't use those muscles for racing. So get out there and race because you're not going to use those muscles. So there you go. Thought I'd share that little bit with you. And there's some nice bicycle statues front and center of the screen coming into view. Isn't it awesome? Okay, they went away. All right, again, I'm going to pause. Those two people that were in the front have been reeled back in. So we're all grouped together nicely now. And uh, we're going to cross that bridge and then whatever, whatever. All right, come back to you in a moment. Alrighty folks, checking back in with you right now. We are at about one third of the way through and they were doing 31 miles per hour steady for a bit but now they're on this gravel and so it's slowed down to 24, 23 miles per hour and so if one third of the way through at 11 minutes it's going to be about a 32 minute race or so. Um, yeah. So things are just cruising along. His heartbeat over there at 155 is ooh, way over there. There it is. 155. His cadence, pedal cadence, 70s, 80. And then of course his watts. Hello, 218. He's chilling right now. Of course, that I would be huffing and puffing and going crazy. It's interesting that they have gotten so slow. This seems pretty chill right now for this race. Alrighty, folks. I'll check back with you. By oh, Okay, we're going to go under the water, so let's enjoy that view. I always find that a little bit fascinating. You might like it, too. Let's see what kind of prehistoric creatures. Prehistoric was the word I was looking for, I think, in the last video. And I couldn't think of it. But some of those prehistoric water creatures. There was a big one on the left, the uh, huge stingray. And just like that, we're back out. For a moment anyway it through the redwoods all right back again into the water under the water in the tunnels let's see what we can see and of course you can follow the race as well See the sunken ship over to your left of the screen. And some dolphins. Some tunifs over on your left. Nice kelp beds, fun stuff, right? Alrighty. Alright folks, we're heading back out into dry land on the outside of the water. I am going to pause here for now until about the 10 mile mark just to check back in with you again. Unless something, of course, happens that I need to bring your attention to. Peace out. Alrighty, they are getting close to 10 miles in, and we're going to come up on this second lap around this soon-to-be gravelly, twisty turn. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you ride this out for some new scenery. And since it's the second lap, and we are now 
two thirds of the way through. Let's see if this little bitty climb ha happens to do anything as far as to the group. Nathaniel, of course, is still up there in the pack. Actually, I see it. I'm already over 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and pause again for a minute or so. Here's some pretty architecture coming through here. I thought I'd share that. Something about big old stone bridges is pretty fascinating. And this is that gravel that I was talking about just a moment ago. Coming up into the 3% grade, and that's going to be 3% harder grade, the upper three. And you can see the blob just sort of getting longer there on the right, upper right corner of the screen. Just a little bit, stretching out. And of course, you can see Nathaniel's watts going up just to stay in it. He's a big guy. He's got to work harder to maintain that speed on an uphill. Cobble bricks of an Italian villa. Cobbled stone, maybe? Okay. All right, we're at 11.3 miles, four miles to go. I'm going to back on out of here unless something happens until we get to the last couple of miles. What's happening now is the big full moon over those bicycle statues that you saw earlier when it was still daylight. And so I had to get that. All righty, folks, we're jumping back in here. We've got two miles, just under two miles to go. There's been a lot of banter back and forth and chatting. I think people are trying to get inside each other's heads and freak people out. I think a guy just used his ghost to jump up ahead and pop up and freak people out, but nobody bit because it's still two miles to go. And of course, he is pulled right back in like a fish on a hook. All right, so he wasn't going anywhere. He wasn't going to jump that line. And see, see that little comment there says now MP. They're saying do the attack now at a mile and a half out. I don't think so. They're just trying to mess with people. But I feel like I just I don't know if it's too much coffee or if it's just the vibe from this race. But I feel like this is going to be an intense finish. So yeah. I mean, look at the blob on the upper right screen. Still very, very tight. So depending on how these people are feeling and who's going to jump first, I just feel the electricity. And we're underwater, so electricity and water could be shocking. Okay, that was a dorky statement, but whatever. Okay, there's some dude up there named Proctor. I wonder if he's going to give us a test. Okay, right on. All right, about a mile to go. Final mile. Nathaniel's still up there in the front in the middle. 
They're going to have a little 3% climb to get out of this water tunnel. And it'll be open road. 600 watts Tanny's doing. Look at that. Oh, he's up front right there. I think you should be drafting right now, Nathaniel. Okay, there we go. He knew he just had to put that little push to stay up there with the hill. Fourteen point seven miles. He's got his heart rate up there a bit. Gonna get ready to explode here in a minute in speed and power. 14.8. I can't remember if this is 15.1 or 15.3. I think it's 15.3 maybe. We're going to have to watch closely. Look for the arch once we get up there. I think it's on Ocean Boulevard. So if it's 15.1, people are going to start going now. If it's 15.3, it might be another tenth of a mile. Fifteen point one. There it goes. Somebody's going. All right. This is it, people. Tanny's up near a thousand. He's over a thousand. All right. Let's go, Tanny. He's going. He's going. He's boogieing. Look at him. Look at that. He got that monkey. Go get him. Get him. Get him. Go get him, Nathaniel. Keep going. Keep going. You can draft him. You can draft him. Get him, Nathaniel. Go. 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 You got it. Go. 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 Dig in. Dig. 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 He. Did it! Yes, yes, yes. That other guy, if he had 10 more feet, might have taken him, but Nathaniel did it. Way to go, baby bear. Hell yes. God damn, that dude's a beast. Woo the Holy camoly. Pause it. All right, we're done. Okay, way to go, Nathaniel. Japer, caramony. There's other words I should use too, but I won't.